Monjibello, or beautiful mountain, is what the Sicilians lovingly call Mount Etna, the largest and most active volcano in Europe. But it is not only its all-engulfing and majestic appearance that makes Mount Etna the undisputed ruler of Sicily. As it has developed, it's gradually taken over more and more land. Today, the Etna Massif measures more than 1,750 square kilometers. Due to the extremely fertile volcanic earth, this area contains an abundance of plant life. Each of Etna's numerous vegetation zones has its own unique charm. In the early summer, the landscape is transformed into a colorful ocean of flowers and blossom. It is then that the unpredictable mountain is at its most beautiful. Totally dominant and with a circumference of 212 kilometers, Mount Etna is the youngest mountain in Sicily. Around half a million years ago, it began to rise from the bay of this South Italian island and eventually grew to its present size of over 3,300 meters. Those who live close to the volcano have always been aware of its awesome power. The first accounts of this exceptionally active volcano date back to the 5th century BC and to the Greece of antiquity. Huge quantities of carbon dioxide are emitted from the snow-covered summit of Etna, although the white smoke from its craters is usually quite harmless. To the south, Etna's cable cars have witnessed the mountain's incredible power. This service has been in existence for several years and is an impressive and spectacular way to travel to the summit while enjoying the impressive scenery. But during a mighty eruption in 2002, large sections of the popular cable car service were destroyed by Etna's lava. Since then, the cable service has been the subject of much renovation, but it will be some time until it's operating at full capacity. Since Etna's last great eruption, the mountain's once adventurous bus trips have been made somewhat less hazardous. As one approaches the edge of the crater, the more surreal the scenery becomes. The proximity of the contrasting lava and snow is truly fascinating. Until quite recently, sightseers could travel by jeep the 2,900 meters up the mountain. But the views are also impressive from the lower regions. In spite of the unpredictable nature of this famous volcano, the Etna region has always been densely populated.
Even in ancient times, the fertile mountain terrain attracted many settlers who came here in the expectation of rich harvests. And in recent times, several have lost their lives here. More and more buildings have become overcome by the lava and many small settlements have vanished forever. A circular tour highlights Mount Etna's vast proportions. This is when the amazing diversity of Etna's scenery reveals itself in full. 1300 meters above sea level, there are forests of chestnut trees. Two thousand five hundred meters above sea level, the uppermost regions of the mountain are mostly without vegetation. White clouds of smoke are constantly visible in the lava deserts close to the summit. Less striking, but at least as beautiful, is the scenic beauty of the mountain's lower elevations. Here, the beauty of the Sicilian vegetation is plain to see. Dry grass, several varieties of violet, as well as the Mount Etna broom are a captivating sight. Following an eruption, it takes around 200 years before the volcanic, mineral-rich earth becomes fertile once again and can thus be used to grow crops. The volcano is a constant threat. The villages and farmland close to the mountain could be destroyed at short notice. Etna's last demonstration of its might took place only a few years ago. 10 or 20 major eruptions occur each century, the worst having been in 1669. Then the eruption was so powerful that it destroyed large areas of the city of Catania, located more than 20 kilometers away on Sicily's eastern coast. In recent times, Etna and its spectacular eruptions has become one of the most impressive natural phenomena in Europe. Even during its most destructive and dangerous moments, the fire-spitting Mount Etna, or Mongibello, as it is often referred to by the local population, indeed lives up to its reputation of being a truly beautiful mountain. <laughs>